What's good, folks? All right, this video is for all those people having problem with your Android phone, with the downloading in the Android market, the Google Play stores, uh, where you get an error saying um, error, download not successful, various errors. I don't remember exactly what they say, but there's errors. All right, guys. So this is a quick fix. Well, this is a fix that. You shouldn't have to hard reset your phone. Um, not only that, it's a fix that should work. Like say, because I've been having a lot of trouble lately with my fiance's phone and her phone, no matter how many times we hard reset it, it doesn't work. So I found this other method online and you know, the video is pretty old, so I wanted to do an updated version of it. I'm gonna be using my S3 to show you guys the step-by-step -step of what needs to be done, all right? So let's get to it. Mm, yeah, yeah. Of course, battery's low. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, my ninjas, is we're gonna go into the menu, into settings. After that, we're gonna scroll down to, where is it? Oh, application manager. Then we're gonna go scroll over to running, no, to all. All right, this is gonna work. I'm just using my S3, my GS3 as, you know, as the as an example. Um, but this will work on any Android, any Android, any phone running Android. All right. Oh, and not only that, tablets. I forgot to mention that tablets and um. Well, yeah, just phone and tablet. All right, cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the application manager, then we're gonna go to all. On other versions will be you go into application and then you go to application administrator or administrator administrate applications or something like that all right and then you go into all then you're gonna you're gonna want to go scroll down to da um, downloads all right we're gonna go into downloads and we're gonna hit click and we're gonna hit clear data all right we're gonna hit OK to approve it that's it we're gonna go back and then if you have this application which I do it helps with downloading all files you're gonna also want to hear hit clear data hit OK and the data is also gonna clear the cache so you don't have to worry about that and yes I did pronounce it right so we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go to Google where's Google 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 you're gonna scroll down to the Google section all right you're gonna go to Google Play Store clear cache clear data you're gonna hit OK then you're gonna go to Google Play services clear data and then you're gonna hit OK and then what else after that yeah that's it oh whoops all right now on other other versions oh and that's right google services framework are you gonna hit clear data all right and then you're gonna go back all right on other versions of android like the 2.3.6 and gingerbread and whatnot um you're not gonna have if you don't have google play store it'll be google market so you do the same thing with the Google market, you go into it, you clear data and clear cache, clear cache then clear data. And then you do the same thing with the Google services framework. Some of your versions might not have it, but some will. Not all of them will have it, but you know, majority will. All right, guys. Then after that, you back out and you go to other steps that people, other things that people have done is they'll go into their, where is it, accounts and sync, there we go, accounts, alright, they'll go into their, into their accounts or sync, uh, account and sync, look at this dude, he climbed the tree so he could feed the birds, that dude is kind of weird, yeah, you see, yeah, I'm here at, uh, still at that park, and Okay, anyways, back to this. So, yeah, I mean, that is weird. Sorry. There's like about 100 and something birds over there. All right. 
So yeah, so then uh, what you'll do is you go into your Google and then you'll clear. You guys just saw my personal information. No, it's just my emails. So you guys will go in there and you'll clear out, you'll erase um, your accounts, your Google accounts. And then after you do all that, all right, you're going to want to boot, reboot. Well, you're not going to reboot the phone completely. What you're going to do is we're going to go into recovery. I got Titanium Backup Pro, which is an awesome app, by the way. And I'm going to be doing a review on it. It's, I mean, I love this app. You're going to go into, you're going to reboot the, the device into recovery. And when you get into recovery, what you're going to want to do is clear the cache again. Clear cache, wipe cache, and wipe Delvic. All right. Yeah, I'm running the Team Win Recovery on my GS3. It's a touch recovery. I love it. I'll be doing a review on that too later. This is, usually don't take this long. All right. So then once you get into your recovery, you're gonna go hit. You're gonna go to wipe, wipe cache. You're gonna say yes. You're gonna go back, and then you're gonna wipe Delvic. I'm gonna say yes, and then you're gonna go back. All right. Now here's the thing: if you're running um, Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're gonna see where it says Mounts and Storage. You go into there, and you're gonna go and clear the cache and clear the Delvic. And if you're running a stock, the stock recovery, what you'll do, you'll just hit Wipe Cache because it doesn't give you the option to wipe Delvic. So you just hit Wipe Cache, and then after you do that, you're gonna reboot the phone. And then when you reboot it, when it boots back up, you're going to see it's going to say installing Google Apps or updating Google Apps, I believe is what it says. You'll see here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm running a stock ROM. I got to do I'm going to be pulling up those videos soon. But um, usually this is what has fixed their problems. If this doesn't work for fixing your download, another thing you can do is uninstall the Google Play Store completely. Uninstall it completely, deactivate it, uninstall it. And then re-download the APK. Go on Google, do a search for the APK, for the .APK, download it, and then reinstall it. And that might that might fix the issue if that doesn't work then you're probably gonna have to you're gonna probably have to go and run a custom ROM you're gonna have to root your phone and run a custom ROM I don't know why this is happening been happening so much what I've noticed it mostly happens with like um, the Galaxy Y the Galaxy Y Galaxy Y Duo the Samsung Admire, um, the Exhibit, that's mostly what I've seen. Um, and a couple and a couple tablets as well. See, it's right now it's optimizing, that's what it is, not installing. Android is upgrading, optimizing apps. Alright guys, so once, this is going to take a while to do, so I'm not going to sit here because then the video will be like 15 minutes long. So... Um, so once you get it done, so once this finishes, what you're going to do is you're going to go open up Google Play. You're going to sign into your account, accept the agreement and everything. And then before trying to download anything, what I recommend is you back out, go into your app store, open up the talk app and signing into Google Talk. And activating it in there after that what you're gonna want to do again is go open up your email the email app you know what I guess this is gonna be a longer video that way I could show you guys hmm, but how am I gonna edit this Because unfortunately, iPod Touch does not have an editor. Yes, I'm using an iPod Touch. 
Okay. Well, well, we could stop it. And then, no, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. Oh, you know what we can do? We can talk about Gundam style, dude. What's his name, Sai? There we go. We can talk about him until this finishes. Yeah, so I heard some... I heard that on the news. I saw on the news. Well, actually, SourceFed. I was watching SourceFed last night. And I saw about what he did almost 10 years ago. You know, about something that he did at a concert where he destroyed a U, uh, uh, an American tank. And then a song that he wrote about killing Americans or so, killing the soldiers or something like that. I mean, it was 10 years ago. Almost 10 years ago when he did that. It was back in 04. There's a reason why he did it. You know, he says the reason he did it was he was mad because American soldiers accidentally killed a missionary. And then, and then again, the American soldiers accidentally killed two Korean girls. It's understandable why he would be upset. You know, but then again, it was 10 years ago. Obviously, the guy doesn't hate America because he's here. If he hated America, he wouldn't be here. He would have nothing to do with America. He wouldn't care. The dude, I'm pretty sure he was already a millionaire when he was over there in Korea. Not only that, I'm also pretty sure he's a huge uh, sensation in Europe. All right. Okay, guys. So, uh, we'll get back onto that. But uh, I think it's dumb, you know, the guy here, he's, he's like in America, he's having fun, you know, it's been 10 years, don't hold it against him. Anyways, that's just, just my two cents. So, uh, alright, back to the Google thing. So, uh, once you got it, once it's up and running, once it's finished, you're going to hit agree for the, well, that's up to you, for the location consent. Me, I don't care, I don't mind. Alright, so like I was saying... Now that it's up and running, so what we're gonna do is, what you're gonna want to do is open up the um, email app. All right, you're gonna grant. Well, I gotta grant super user to all my stuff. What are you gonna after that? You're gonna go back. AT and T account update is none of your guys' business. Go back. All right. What you're gonna do is go to menu. Then you're gonna go to settings. My life. That's not it. You're going to go to settings, and then you're going to hit the plus sign and add your Google account. I'm not going to do that because I already have it, and it's working fine. You're going to add your Google account to the email, and then you're going to go into the Play Store. It's going to ask you to sign in. You're going to sign in using your Gmail. Once you sign in, you're going to accept your agreement, the user agreement and everything. And that's it. Your internet, I mean, not your internet, but your Google Play Store problems should be over. It should be working perfectly. Now, if the problem still persists, the la your last resort would be flashing a custom ROM. Um, yeah, just flash a custom ROM and then... It should work perfectly. Or another thing, if you have a titanium backup, what you can do is restore from your previous backup using titanium backup pro or titanium backup and right there we'll be able to restore your Google your Google Play Store. Alright guys, so this concludes oh, another idea that came to me. Another thing that you could also do if the problem still persists is uninstall updates the google play store updates yeah this sprint 3g sucks all right i'm gonna show you guys that real quick all right guys if if you the problem still persists this is another thing that you can do all right i've heard of people that they still had the problem what you do is you go into your application then you go into all whoops no what are you doing Go to all. You'll scroll down to your Google Play Store. There you go down to your Google Play Store. And then 
Well, it's different here on the Jelly Bean. On the previous ones, you were able to uninstall. Well, okay, I'm gonna make a separate video then of how to do that. Well, that's it, guys. That's all. That's it for now. This concludes the video for sure, for real, for real. If you still have any, if you're still having issues or having any problems, just email me. If you guys need more information, just feel free to message me here on YouTube. Um, pretend you didn't see any of my emails, my email addresses, privacy. All right, guys. So you guys have a good day, man. Shalom. Yahweh bless you.